Now some of you are gonna say, whilst hitting the dislike button, Frankie, where's the warfighter footage? Well, unfortunately I can't show you any warfighter footage, but I have got first hand experience of the game. So I can give you an insight and sort of address some of your concerns. But trust me here, I have read through the whole non-disclosure agreement as I did for Battlefield 3. The Battlefield 3 one admittedly was fairly loosely worded. This one is absolutely iron tight. So I, I can't really show you anything of it. But what I wanted to do in this video was not only show you some great team gameplay here with Jack Frags, but also to sort of address the concerns which I'm sure a lot of you are having, having played the original Medal of Honor. These concerns though, what are they? Well, I would have to say probably lag, insta-kills, clunky movement and gameplay, and well, bad map design. And from what I've seen so far, what I've seen so far, all of these are pretty much remedied, and me personally, I would give the game a 9 out of 10 at alpha stage. It is it is a seriously good game, guys, and the weird thing is, I've never felt, and I, I really didn't, I didn't expect this from Warfighter, I've never felt so immersed in a game, even... Even Battlefield 3 doesn't match it, even, I mean, the only thing that really comes close, at least, is is perhaps the DayZ mod for Armour 2 I've also been playing, but, I mean, it's the, the soundscape is just so good in the game, the guns just sound so damaging, the thud of bullets against walls, it really, really does surpass Battlefield 3, and, of course, the visuals are also quite a bit better, I mean, Battlefield 3, huge maps, so of course they can't put in that sort of detail, but on the smaller maps to medium-sized maps that you get in Warfighter, and I, I was very wary there about not saying Call of Duty maps, because people associate this game so much already, even though a lot of people haven't seen proper footage of it, and trust me, the trailer that EA have released so far really does the game no justice, it is far, far better than it looks in the trailer. But people seem to think the game's like Call of Duty where it really isn't. Yes, the maps are sort of crash crossfire sized, but yes, they are really well designed. Yes, the game does have support actions, different ones for different classes. And you can do so many cool things like, I'm sure, I think this has been released in the trailer already, but you can rapple down from a black hawk and fire the minigun on it, and that's one of you. But it's it's not like Call of Duty where it feels arcadey and gimmicky. You actually feel like you're in a battle throughout, and it doesn't feel, it doesn't feel like a small map. It's, it's such a great environment that you're actually playing in. On to movement though, it is actually a a lot more fluid than in Battlefield 3. They have included, although I can't tell you specifics, they have included a few other little features which makes moving around the maps an absolute joy. And even better than that, they've now included some sort of footsteps sound. Now I know footsteps are a hotly debated topic between you know sort of the pro guys who want to be able to hear them because it kind of it kind of helps you, lets you continue to improve if you've got a little bit more sort of sound awareness around you. And the guys who don't want people to just camp in corners because it can sort of be abused in that way. But I think that they've got exactly the right balance in this between the sort of faint hearing of footsteps, which doesn't exist at all in Battlefield 3, at least for the enemy, and sort of... The, the way that explosions take over if they're around you, so you can't hear footsteps all the time, but sometimes it does give you that kind of awareness which really makes games sort of more fun. Now guys, I wanted to dedicate the last part of this video to bolt action snipers, because I have a feeling, I have a feeling that the one in Warfighter is going to have a fan appreciation club. Seriously, I have never had so much fun with a bolt action sniper rifle I think ever in a game. There's just, I think it's a combination of the sound that it makes and the way that people drop and they drop more realistically, like properly drop when you shoot them with a bolt action rifle in Warfight, even more realistically than in Battlefield 3. And it's just that combination which makes using it so much fun. I, in fact, I would say it's even better and looks cooler than using the, the R700 in Call of Duty 4. In fact, easily, easily better. I, I don't even know how to describe the gun to you. I don't even know the actual name of the gun because I don't think it's actually listed in it. But it kind of looks like the R700 in that and it's absolutely fantastic. So if, if you find sniping sort of not quite as satisfying in Battlefield 3 as you really wanted sniping to be like... I kind of feel it's that way in Battlefield 3 a little bit, having played Bad Company 2 just before. I, I kind of felt the snipers felt a bit more damaging in Bad Company 2, but trust me, the snipers in Warfighter, at least that bolt action, 
absolutely blows them all away. And also, it actually zooms in and looks like it's going to zoom in at the point where the, the, the crosshair actually comes up. Whereas in Battlefield 3, I, I always get the feeling that it's not exactly aiming in that kind of direction. Oh, oh fucking hell. I thought it was a big ass explosion. It Did was you die as well? He C4 at the derp. Wow. Honestly. Okay. <laughs> my goodness. Yeah, that was my reaction to getting team killed again. Damn it, I swear, I swear I die more often to my team than, than to, okay, that's probably not true. In hardcore it was true. In hardcore. In, in core, probably not. But back to Warfighter, anything else to tell you? Well, it is a really, really fantastic game. Seriously, and I'm not being endorsed by EA or, or by Danger Close or by anybody to tell you this kind of thing. This is my honest opinion. In fact, they will probably, given that I've given you a few little snippets about things in this video, they might even take this video down. But before they do, no matter how many explosions EA fits into the next Warfighter trailer, Trust me, despite that, and despite your scepticism, the game is actually really, really good. And I think you'd be missing out if you didn't play it. Now, as me and Jack here plant the objective, I'm going to leave you guys with a little present at the end of this video, courtesy of Shark Hunter. Enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next chapter. Nobler in the mind who suffers sins and errors of outrageous fortune. In the heart, in the thousand natural sorrows, just dead.